Welcome guys to the 6th tutorial of PLC automation with select FlexisRail PLC. In this tutorial we will discuss the memory bits of uh, PLC and uh, how they are different uh, from input output bits and we will create a ladder logic program with memory bits. In ladder logic programming we have to assign the addresses to contacts or coils. The physical inputs and physical outputs are the real input outputs for a PLC. These input outputs are required to connect sensors, switches or loads. For select PLC, the input address starts with percentage then IX and the physical output address starts with percentage QX. So these real input and output addresses depend upon the available inputs and outputs of the PLC. On the other hand, we have the memory bits and the format to assign the address for memory bits is percentage MX. These memory bits can be assigned to any NONC contact or to a coil. First create a new project in CellPro software for FlexisRail PLC. First place a NO contact and a coil. Double click on the contact. Now if you want to assign a physical address to the contact then you have these choices. But for this tutorial I will use the memory addresses. So for that click on add variable. And you can see what is the address of the variable it is percentage mx0 so this is the first memory bit of the plc now this is not a physical input now the memory address is assigned to this contact double click on the coil for the coil you can also assign the physical address for the output or you can assign a memory address to this coil so i will first assign a memory address for this click on add variable and now you can see the address is percentage mx1 now the system will assign the next available memory address to the coil or contact click ok now we are not using any physical input or physical output for contact and coil run offline simulation now offline simulation is running double click on the contact it will turn on the coil these memory bits are like virtual input outputs and they make the program very flexible these memory bits are very important and they are used with timers, counters and other PLC instructions. And there is no limit on the number of memory bits because the memory bit addressing depends upon the available memory of the PLC. You can see I am using MX0 for a contact. If I write MX500 that means it will be a bit number 500 for memory bit area. So you can see the simulation is also working for this memory address which is MX500 and there is no particular limit on the addressing of memory bits because they are dependent on the available memory for the PLC. Now to show the application of this memory bit addressing, I just create a hold on in rung number 3 to 5. I assign the memory address of G variable 1 to this contact also and I place a physical output here and the address of this output is assigned to this contact. Now for this application I am not using any physical input of the PLC. So if I double click on this contact it will first activate this coil MX1 and because the MX1 address is also assigned to this contact it will activate this contact also and this will activate this physical output and because the same address is assigned to this contact and it will also turn on and provide a parallel path for the supply to this coil. Now the real application of memory bits is when we are using HMIs or SCADA softwares. Because the input from HMI display and the input from a SCADA software cannot operate a physical input. So at that time we have to use the memory addresses so that we can capture the input from SCADA software or from the HMI device. That's why the memory bits are very important in PLC programming. And remember that you can assign any memory address to any contact or coil means they can be act as an input or output. The real use of these memory bits will be clear in next video tutorials. For now just practice with the memory bits and other input output addresses. Stay in contact and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel.